What is up, guys? Player One Gaming here, back with another video. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing my Week Two Big Ten Football uh, analysis video. This is just going to be going over, over all the Big Ten teams and how they played this week. Um, my Michigan analysis video will be coming out either later today or tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, um, but you guys will know when it comes out. Uh, but let's get into this uh, with the first game that is on my list here, which is Ohio State. They shut out Cincinnati 42 to zero. Uh, Ohio State is, uh, you know, I expected Cincinnati to score some points at least. Uh, that's not the case. There's a shutout, and Cincinnati's not a bad team at all. They're they're not great by any means, but they're not a bad team. And shutting out a team is already hard enough, so this is very impressive. Let's look at these uh these stats here. Justin Fields went 20 for 25 for 224 yards and two touchdowns. This guy is really good. Um. You know, he didn't look great in the spring game or anything, but that 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 does not matter anymore. No one cares about that. Um, Justin Fields is so is, is he is really good. Uh, J.K. Dobbins, uh, seventeen carries for one hundred forty one yards and two touchdowns. That's very good as well. Um, so yeah, let's look at these team stats. Thirty one first downs for Ohio State. Went seven for eleven on third down. Five hundred and eight. Total yards, uh, 270 rushing yards, 238 passing, pretty even with those two things. Just ridiculous. Um, this this may be Ohio State may be the best team in the Big Ten, and the only reason I'm I'm not saying they definitely are is because of one other team, and uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know who who that is in a in a second. Uh, okay, now this one. Iowa and Rutgers. Um, not really surprised uh, about about this one. Uh, I, I I don't know if I expected a shutout, but uh, here we go. Iowa wins thirty to zero against Rutgers. You know, we we heard so many things about Rutgers last week. Oh, they looked really good against Massachusetts after looking terrible at first. They dominated in the second half. Massachusetts is a terrible team, so there's no reason to get excited about it. Uh, I knew going into this game, I think I think Iowa was like a 20, 22 point favorite or something like that. They won by thirty, so they went over. Um, that, that is, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's impressive, but it is. It's it's pretty impressive. Um, let's look at these stats here. Nate Stanley, uh, 16 for 28 for 236 yards and three touchdowns for Iowa. I mean, Rutgers has a terrible, terrible offense, uh, or I'm sorry, defense. I mean, they're, they're terrible on both sides of the ball, but, uh, Rutgers five for 12 for 22 yards. That's abysmal and an interception. Um, in fact, I would like to see, uh, those, uh, the quarterback stats, uh, rushing, Iowa had 9 carries for 59 yards. Rutgers had 10 carries for 42. Let's look at uh, this guy, M. Carter, whoever his name is. Uh, he's got 2 touchdowns and 4 interceptions this year, so not good. Um, and only 362 uh, passing yards in 2 games. Um, team stats, let's look at that. 23 first downs. For Iowa and five for Rutgers, two for fourteen on third down for Rutgers, two for thirteen on third down for Iowa. Uh, Rutgers only had 125 total yards, not rushing or passing. Total 125. Uh, Iowa had 438. That's really good. Um, passing 41 yards for Rutgers. Terrible. Uh, 244 yards for Iowa, which is pretty good. Uh, 84 rushing for Rutgers. That's also. That, I mean, I guess for them that's okay. Uh, 194 for uh, for Iowa, which is all right as well. Um, yeah, just complete domination, just like the Ohio State game. Complete domination by Iowa. Uh, Maryland needs to be ranked. <laughs> uh, Maryland absolutely destroyed Syracuse. Like, this is an embarrassment. Uh, Syracuse went into this game, the one ranked, but they were also the underdog. Uh, 63 to 20. Uh, that is, how many points did they say that they, that Maryland has scored this season in only two games? Like 120, 
eight or something like that. Probably more than that now. It's got to be over 140. That's ridiculous. They scored 79 points in week one, uh, shutting out Howard, and now scoring 63 against Syracuse. This offense looks scary good. Uh, 21 for 38 for 296 yards and three touchdowns, but one interception that kind of puts a blunder on, on his stats there. Um, Syracuse went 28 for 39 for 330 yards, three touchdowns and an interception. Um, pretty much kind of look the same as, a uh, as pass for passing like Maryland did. Uh, Maryland had seven carries for 107 yards which is weird because I expect Maryland to me has always been a rushing team. So to have more passing in, uh, in this game is pretty ridiculous. But Maryland scored three touchdowns in the first and second quarter, having six touchdowns um, uh, by the time it hit halftime, which is just ridiculous. Uh, let's look at these stats. 29 first downs, uh, 650 total yards. But Syracuse had 400 of their own, which is actually pretty good. 296 uh, passing, while Syracuse had 330 rushing, 354 yards rushing, and 74 Syracuse. Uh, by the way, I really didn't watch this game. I just I'm looking at the score and looking at the stats and that, and uh, this is telling me a lot. So, uh, yeah, Maryland should be ranked. That's for sure. They had a very impressive win. All right, uh, Purdue gets the win over Vandy. Uh, didn't expect this, honestly. I expected this to be a lot closer, but uh, Purdue gets a nice win here. Um, they're one and one now after losing last week to Nevada in a game losing or a game winning uh, field goal uh, for Nevada. Um, a lot of passing in this game for Purdue. They had five touchdown passes. Or one inter and one one interception, fifty two total passes, thirty four of which were completed for five hundred and nine yards. Wow, uh, eight carries um, for fifteen yards for Purdue. Uh, let's look at these team stats. Well, pretty close there with uh, first downs when it comes to those things. Twenty eight to twenty three, five hundred forty total yards to four hundred ninety one. I mean, not great defense there for Purdue. Uh, 509 passing to 420, and uh, really bad on rushing for both teams. I mean, no, neither team really attempted rushing. 71 total for uh, Vanderbilt and 31 total for Purdue. Uh, but that, I don't think that matters to Purdue. The point is they got the win, So and they had five touchdowns in the process. I don't really believe Purdue is really that great of a team yet. Um, I mean, they lost in Nevada, and then they beat Vanderbilt, who's not really that great of a team uh, themselves. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to see more from Purdue for me to consider them a good team. But we'll see. Remember when I said that uh, another team is uh, pretty close to the talent that, uh, that uh, Ohio State has? Here it is. Wisconsin. Uh, it, you know, it, the, it doesn't matter. If they played South Florida and Central Michigan, two teams that are not really that great, it is hard. It is really difficult to shut out a team. And me, a person who's crapped on Wisconsin and called them overrated for the last year, um, especially in 2018. I mean, I was right about them that year. 2019, I said that they would be a little bit better, but uh, I didn't think that they'd be this much better. Wisconsin seriously needs to be taken seriously. They are top 10 team, in my opinion. Uh, two shutout victories in a row. They've allowed zero points this season in two weeks. Um, scored. They won 49-0 last week um, and then won 61-0 this week against uh, Central Michigan. Let's just look at these, uh, these stats here. 26 for 33 for 363 yards and three touchdowns by John Cohn. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, uh, had 19 carries for 102 yards and three touchdowns of his own. Also, uh, another guy who's really good. Um, 28 points scored in the second quarter. I mean, the game, the game was over by halftime, uh, for sure. Uh, let's look at these team stats here. 37 <laughs> first downs to three 
for Central Michigan. Um, 599, oh good lord, 599 total yards to 58 total for Central Michigan, 43 of which uh, were passing. That means they had 15 rushing yards. Good lord, man. That is ridiculous. Um, yeah, Wisconsin. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm going to say that you guys are going to be a pretty good team, if not really good. Uh, you know, I'm, they're, they're definitely better this year. That's for sure. Uh, no one was really high on Wisconsin though. I mean, I wasn't, no one else I was reading was like, oh yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna win 11 games or 10 games or whatever. No one thought that, uh, they thought, Ohio State, Michigan would be up there, but uh, Wisconsin needs to seriously be taken seriously. Um, Wisconsin's a great team, without a doubt, and I never thought I would say that this year. They're a great team, top ten without a doubt. Um, but we'll see. We'll we'll see what happens in the coming weeks. They play. I think they have a bye week, and then they play Michigan. That's their first real, uh, I I guess challenge. <laughs> I mean, that's their hardest opponent yet, but uh. We'll see how that goes for them uh, as well. So let's move on now. Uh, I guess I, I guess I was right, or I guess I, I guess I was wrong actually about Nebraska. I have them winning nine games, and I'm not saying that that's not you know a, a possibility still, but uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I don't I don't think so now. They're they're not they're no longer ranked. I think mean, there's no way that they're ranked. Uh, there were 25 and lost to an unranked team. They're not ranked anymore, uh, and they shouldn't be. Um, let's let's see how they look. Adrian Martinez had 16 for 26 yards for 290 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. I mean, that's not terrible, but that's also not like fantastic numbers or anything. Look, oh my gosh. How do you allow Colorado to score to score 24 points in the fourth quarter? Are you joking? Dude, you held them to zero points. You held them to zero points in the first half. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys were up 17 to 0 at halftime. Uh what in the world? What happened? Like even even at the end of the third, it was only 17 uh 17 to 7. Uh, and then they come back and win 34-31 in overtime. They had a heck of a fourth quarter. Uh but it doesn't matter if uh, you guys were con in control most of the game. They the point is they came back and won and you guys looked terrible in the fourth quarter. I didn't realize how many points they scored in the fourth. Um but yeah, you guys are terrible. Uh, Nebraska's not going to be good again. Um, and, uh, honestly, when you were, when people were saying, oh, Nebraska's going to have Ohio State trouble, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, but Nebraska, good Lord, let's look at these team stats. 22 first downs for Colorado to 19 for Nebraska. You guys are pretty close in total yards. Uh, Nebraska only had a little bit more, 469 to 464. 290 rushing or passing yards, I'm sorry, which isn't terrible, uh, and 375 passing for Colorado. That's just unacceptable for them, for you guys to allow. 179 rushing, and you allowed them, you, you only let them get 89, uh, which is pretty good. I mean, it's not Michigan State good, but no one expects you to be that good. They only had 11 carries, and two of them were touchdowns, so yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been talking for too long already. But yeah, uh, Nebraska, you're out of the top 25, and that's how it should be. All right, Illinois. Uh, what are you doing? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't expect Illinois to be a great team by any means. But getting this close of a game against Connecticut, really. Connecticut is a, a just an awful football team. They're even considering canceling the team, like just taking away the team completely because of how bad they are. Uh, Illinois, you only win by. You only win. How many did you win by? You won by eight. Um, really? Uh, well, let, let's look at these these stats. Brandon.
Brandon Peters had four touchdowns. Yeah. Former Michigan quarterback. 24 uh, for 35 for 227 yards, four touchdowns, and he had an interception there. That's actually looking at the uh, stats for this year. So I, I think he's seven touchdowns to one interception. So that, that's pretty good. Um, uh, but, yeah, Illinois, I, I, I don't know. know. I mean, they're not going to go anywhere this year. Um, I don't care that you guys won. You guys may be happy with the win, you, you Illinois fans. Uh, but I'm definitely, definitely uh, not really uh, impressed at all. I don't know. It seems like the Illinois fan base is probably dead anyways. I don't, I don't see them anywhere on my channel. So I, I don't know. That's my battery. Um, but Illinois, you got to do better. Indiana has a nothing win over a nothing team. Indiana blows out Eastern Illinois, uh, fifty-two to zero. Peyton Ramsey went thirteen for fourteen, passing for two hundred twenty-six yards and, a, and two touchdowns. Ugh. Um. I mean, who cares? To be honest, Eastern Illinois is not a a, a team. <laughs> Twenty-six uh, first downs and for Indiana, five for Eastern Illinois. 441 total yards to 64. I, 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 mean, I don't even want to talk about this one anymore. Who cares? Um, yeah, Eastern Illinois is not a good football team, so you guys should have won. I don't know about a blowout. This is the third. This is three blowouts in the Big Ten in one week, man. That's, I mean, it shouldn't be really make that, you know, it shouldn't really be that big of a deal. We don't really play anybody in non-conference play all, all that much. Um, but yeah, Indiana wins in a, in a nothing game that nobody's going to care about by tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, this game was 45 to, th or I'm sorry, 10 to three at halftime. Buffalo had the lead. All of a sudden Penn state just blows up, uh, getting that 45, 13 win. Look, look at this. Where is it at? I'm, I skipped over it. All right, see, 10, 10 to ten to seven. I'm sorry, not ten to three. Ten to seven. Uh, in in at, at halftime for Buffalo had the lead. Uh, and and then all of a sudden Penn State scores twenty eight points in the third quarter, uh, and then ten in the fourth. So I mean, Penn State wins in a game that should have dominated anyway. So. Uh, but let's look at these team stats. I mean, Buffalo had more first downs than you guys, but I'm 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 gonna say that uh, you guys were barely on the field that long anyway. So uh, they had more total yards than you. Why is that? I don't know. Um, you guys only a lot. You guys only had 78 rushing yards and uh, 279 uh, passing yards. So I mean, not bad. But uh, you guys should have won this game uh, anyway by dominating fashion. Sean Clifford went uh, 16 for 22 for 279 yards and four touchdowns. That's pretty good. So you guys get the win here against uh, not uh, a very bad Buffalo team. Congratulations. Michigan State looks more impressive than I've ever seen uh, in a while. I mean, 51 to 17 to Western Michigan. I mean, Western Michigan's not a good team. At all, and I don't know how you allow them to score 17 points with the defense you've got. Uh, I didn't, I did not watch this game, so I'm just gonna assume that they, uh, that they scored off of offensively. Um, let me actually, let me look at it. Uh, three touchdowns, interception. I mean, you guys, Brandon Lewerke looked pretty good. 314 passing yards. So yeah, uh, you guys had quite a bit of touchdowns on uh on a uh, on offense, so thirty one first downs. That's really good for your offense. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, you held them to sixty seven rushing yards. I mean, that's a step down from last week. You held them to yeah. Who 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 did you play? I don't even remember. You held that the team you played last a uh, negative seventy three or something like that. Negative seventy something. Uh, Michigan State looked impressive, I guess. Uh, not, I guess they did. They looked impressive, impressive against uh, Western Michigan. But Western Michigan historically is a terrible team. So, uh, 
uh, impressive for your offense. Defense, I don't know what happened there. I mean, how do you allow them to score 17 points? I mean, Michigan allowed three points last year when they played Western Michigan. So, uh, But uh, I, I'm going to say that you guys put in your backups. Uh, yeah, that's definitely what it is. You guys put in your backups. So, uh, impressive win. Here's one team that is not going to be good this year is Minnesota. I mean, they're 2-0 and right now, but that's not going to... Their, their winning record's not going to stay for very long. Um, they get a three point win in double overtime by Fresno State, a team that is 0 2. Uh, let, let's look at these stats 16 for 23 yards, 234 yards, 16 for 23, 234 yards, and two touchdowns. That's good for your uh, quarterback there. Uh, you guys had a 14 10 lead at halftime, and it was close pretty much all the way through. Um, 24 first downs, 380 total yards. Um, I mean, you looked pretty decent, I guess, on, uh, on passing and rushing. Um, but not not against a team like Fresno State. Uh, I mean, Minnesota, when when you guys when it comes to playing other teams this later this season, you guys are not going to be good. Uh, you guys are not. I mean, I heard people saying Minnesota was going to be the dark horse Big Ten West team to win the to go to the Big Ten championship. That is not happening. No way. Um, Minnesota, your season, it's going down the toilet pretty soon. I'll only go over this one quickly. Um, Michigan wins in double overtime to Army, 24-21. Now, it looked sloppy, right? Uh, Patterson looked sloppy. Fumbled the ball again. We had four. I'm sorry, I'm a Michigan fan. We had four fumbles. How do you have four fumbles again? And th- what was it? three of them were on Patterson? Two of two of those three were recovered by Army, and one of them led to an, an Army touchdown. Unacceptable, man! They had the lead uh, at the beginning of the game. They had a seven-zero lead, just like the Middle Tennessee game. And this was a carbon copy of Week One. This team was a carbon copy of week one. The only difference was we were playing a much better team who had a chance to take a 21-7 lead at one point. Thank goodness we got that interception, which led to a touchdown. But good Lord, man, Shea Patterson went 19 for 29 for 207 yards, but he didn't have a touchdown. Um, And at least Army threw a pick, which really helped us. Zach Charbonnet... It took him 33 carries to get to 100 yards, but he got three touchdowns. So, I mean, he's the player of the game for sure. Um, 340 total yards, and it, it took us, it took us, what? What did it take us? Uh, two overtimes to get that win, right? Go into overtime. I mean, I mean, we were lucky to win this at all, right? We, we went into this game... Oh, about uh, we were almost we were about to go down 21-7 at one point. Get the pick, uh, tie the game up uh, at 14. Uh, Army has a chance to score 50 50 yard field goal to win the game with like two seconds left. His their, their Army kicker has never kicked a, a, a ball in his life. He's never kicked a, a a field goal from that long before. He's only kicked extra points. Um, and thank goodness for that because he missed terribly he I mean he came somewhat close but he didn't he didn't hit it uh he hit it wide right and we go into overtime they get the ball first they score immediately almost immediately they score um and then we get the ball back we score then we uh and we get a field goal right we because we get the ball back right after uh because it goes army Michigan Michigan army in that order uh so we got the ball back again kicked a field goal, um, and at that point, you know, I thought the game was over because Army scored so easily, all they got to do is score again, um, and thank goodness they fumbled the ball, and Michigan recovered, and we win by three. Sloppy, terrible game. I, I mean, Army, I, I know Army's a good team. They're one of the better Power 5 teams, the, the you know, that triple option team that, uh, 
gives every team they play trouble. I mean, they 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 took Oklahoma to an, a, an overtime game last year, and Oklahoma went to the playoffs. I understand that, but in terms of everything else, that's not really what I'm upset about. You know, this game, Patterson looked terrible. He looked terrible. McCaffrey didn't have a chance to get in there because he, um, McCaffrey didn't have any chance to get in there because we, it was so close for so long. He was in there for maybe two plays. He didn't do anything with it. Um, Zach Charbonnet carried this team, uh, offensively for sure. Um, I mean, but and and I love the guy too. He's the he's he's the player of the game for me. But good lord, I mean, we have a bye week next week, which I guess is good. But we got to play Wisconsin in two weeks, and that's a team that looks like a top ten team. We do not look like a top ten team. And I predicted Michigan to win this game against Wisconsin, and I may be changing that. I'm gonna change it right now. Wisconsin is going to beat Michigan uh, in two weeks um, because I know this game was probably expected to be close or somewhat close, but with how sloppy we look on offense and how confused we look on offense, uh, there's there's no way, man. There's no way. Uh, team stats. Let's look at this. Uh, le- how many rushing yards did we let them have? 200 rushing yards. Are you kidding me? I mean... I mean, I guess that's pretty good for a team that rushes pretty much all the time. Um, they only had two two passes, uh, and, you know, Army always r- runs the ball. So, I mean, I guess 200 yards is not terrible for a team that constantly runs the same plays with the triple option, right? Um, sloppy game. 24-21 in dr- double overtime. Not one of those touchdowns. Or any of those points were scored off of a pass, which is what Michigan needed to do, right? But at least Zach Charbonnet had himself a game. I mean, this guy's a freshman. He's going to be with us for a while, so I'm glad. Uh, and uh, I really like the kid, so. Uh, yeah, defensively, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I mean, we looked okay at some points, and other points we looked bad. I mean, I mean it's hard to block that triple option. Uh, but I thought we've been practicing. We've been practicing that triple option, you know, defending that triple option for like five, six months. Uh, it didn't really help a whole lot, but I guess uh, it was better to uh, better to be prepared because Michigan. I mean, I mean, for a team like Michigan who never plays against a team like Army who runs the triple option offense all the time, um, you know, I guess we did okay. Some of the time. Um, we won the game. And I don't know how we won the game. But we did. We got the close win. It was a nail biter. It literally came down to the last play. And this is a very sad. Sorry excuse. For a, a game. Uh, for Michigan. I don't even think I'm going to do it in a week two analysis. Because I've basically said everything I want to say. Michigan, clean it up. Clean it up. I mean, I don't know what to say. Um, but let me guys, you guys let me know what you think about the Big Ten. Who, who's the best? I mean, I, I I'm changing because I'm changing my prediction for now. Michigan's gonna lose to Wisconsin, and I, I didn't think I'd say that because we here we were at the beginning of the season. Before August, before August 31st, thinking Michigan, Ohio State are the two best teams in the Big Ten. At this point, uh, it, it looks like Ohio State, Wisconsin. When it comes to the Big Ten East, Michigan State could still be better than Michigan. I, I mean, you don't know. With this defense, with this Michigan State defense, right, and how bad the Michigan offense looks and how confused and just downright terrible they've looked, uh... I wouldn't be surprised if we don't, if we don't, if we lose that game against Michigan State, uh, Notre Dame. I mean, we really haven't got a good idea of how good Notre Dame is. They've only played one game, but if we don't, if we don't clean it up, we're gonna lose to Notre Dame. We're gonna lose 
to Michigan State. We're going to lose to Wisconsin. We're going to lose to Penn State. We're going to lose to Ohio State for sure. I mean, I already think we're going to lose to Ohio State. I thought that before the season started, I thought we were going to lose to Ohio State. But we're definitely losing to Ohio State, uh, no matter what. I don't I don't care what you say. Um, we're losing to Ohio State again. This team looks like a seven win team, and if 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 that if that's where the season goes, um, I don't know about Jim Harbaugh anymore, man. Maybe I'm overreacting. I don't know about Jim Harbaugh though at this point. I, I, such high hopes, and uh, this season's starting out terribly. So, uh, but yeah, that's it. Michigan's two and zero, and I'm already claiming the season's over. Uh, and that's, that's where I'm at. Um, uh, see you guys later.